A shot of Midori, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry. It's an inside joke. There's this bartender in Stanford who, uh... <laughs> you know what? You just have to be there. I wish I was. I love inside jokes. Love to be a part of one someday. So what weapon? My bare hands. That is stupid. I will use a sword and I will cut off your bare hands. Then I'll get something too. I've had two men fight over me before. Usually it's over which one gets to hold the camcorder. You are not leaving without giving me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you know what? You don't need to make that sound. I'm sorry, you were just a lot bonier than I thought you were gonna be. There are plenty of people who love touching me. I'm a terrific hugger. I've been with a bunch of girls where that's basically all they want to do. So, tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be married and have a hundred kids so I can have a hundred friends and no one can say no to being my friend. Uh, oh, okay, well, uh, nice talking with you, Michael. Back to you, Miss Trudy. Hi, everyone. It's one of my favorite could have times sworn there was. Did you get married? Right, so we're gonna uh, no. Why not? Uh, it just never happened. So, do you have any kids? Uh, nope. Do you have a girlfriend? I do okay. Was Chuck Montgomery cool back yes. then? Yes. Even I have a girlfriend. Okay, all right, okay. So you didn't get to be what you wanted to be? I guess not. I hate, hate, hate being left out. Whether it's not being picked for a team, or being picked for a team, and then showing up and realizing that the team doesn't exist, or that the sport doesn't exist, I should have known. Poop ball? You cheated on me? When I specifically asked you no. not to? I've been stuck working under Josh. The poor man's Michael Scott. As he is known around my condo. I have an enormous amount of trouble trying to get people to come to my place. And I hate it. I can't tell you how much leftover guacamole I have ended up eating over the years. I don't even know why I'm making such great quantities. Every success I've ever had in my job or with the lady folk has come from my ability to slowly and painfully wear someone down. Yeah, I've been pretty much skating my whole life. I thought about playing in the NHL, but you're on the road so much. You had no time to spend with your wife and kids. And I really want a wife and kids. Oh, I'd cared about, but you know, I'm not gonna cry over it. I did that in the car on the way home. It's actually not the first time I've been embarrassed by a pond. <laughs> in high school, the girls' volleyball team always used to throw me into the frozen lake. Four years in a row. <laughs> oh, oh, it was freezing. No, no, no. Oh, this is even worse. A couple weeks ago, I went to get a new cell phone, and I wanted one of those packages where you have the five, you know, the friends, friends and family thing. And the guy was like, we're your five friends. And I'm like, uh, I didn't even know. I couldn't even think. Oh, my God, it was so embarrassing. That was, whoa. I don't even have Jan's cell phone number, and I hate her. You won't give it to me. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm a loser. A loser. Too far. God. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for the advice. Well, I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch. Mama Jo knew there was something up. A whole year, actually. My favorite restaurant closed down. Oh, I hate that. And my new favorite restaurant sucks. I bought a video camera last year, and I was looking at the tapes, and there were only like 12 minutes that I felt was worth taping the whole year. And most of that was just birds in my condo complex. It's your PMSing pretty bad, huh?
the deal is that this is my last hurrah because I made a New Year's resolution that I'm not going to drink anymore during the week. My worst breakup was with Stacy. It was a Sunday morning. We were reading the paper, and I said, "Oh my God, I think the Eagles could clinch the NFC East." And she said, "That we're done." What is it like being single? I like it. I like starting each day with a sense of possibility. And I'm optimistic because every day I get a little more desperate and desperate situations yield the quickest results. Learn to cook for one. Yeah, I love cooking, but I always find myself throwing out half the food I prepare. So I figured it's time to just start preparing the right amount of food for the right number of people, which is one. Well, maybe you'll meet someone. No, some people just don't meet someone. I'm fine with it, really. This is not a pity party. It's not a party at all, it's just sad. Carol? Carol Stills? I would like you to do me the honor of making me your husband. Oh, Michael. What do you say? Can we talk about this in private? I didn't hear you. Can we talk about this in private? Oh, you gotta be kidding. You gonna answer that, Cal? All right, thanks. Dunder Mifflin, this is Kevin. Please hold while I transfer you. Oscar, your mom! Charles is having Kevin cover the phones for a while. How do I say this diplomatically? I think Kevin is doing exactly as well as anyone might have expected someone like him to perform in a position like that. Please hold. Andy, phone call. Nope, stay there. Kev, I thought we nailed the whole transfer thing earlier. Yeah, I wrote it on my hand, but then I washed it. It is transfer, extension, and then transfer again. Okay, Andy, get ready. Transfer. Here we go. Extension, transfer. Uh, ah, oh man. It is 134. Kev. Kev, come on. Kev. Hustle. Hold you are Kevin. murdering yeah, the yeah. Nardoff. This is Kevin. Please hold and I will transfer you. You're bad at this Just too. Don't answer good. that call. Just transfer the damn call. Your call is very important to us. Please. Hey! Oh! Okay. Oh! okay. Oh! Way to go. My maid died. When I was seven, my mother hired a pony and a cart to come to my house for all the kids. And I got a really bad rash from the pony. And all the kids got to ride the pony and I had to go inside and my mother was rubbing cream on me for probably three hours and I never came outside. And by the time I got out, the pony was already in the truck and around the corner. So that was my worst birthday. When I was 16, I was supposed to go out on a date with a girl named Julie. But there was another Michael in the class that she apparently thought the date was with. So she went out with him on my birthday. And she got him a cake at the restaurant. And it wasn't even his birthday, but I heard about it the next day in school. So. That was the worst birthday I think I ever had. Hey, how you doing? I'm thinking about my grandmother a lot. Yeah. She was about to turn 97. At least she lived a very long and I'm sure very happy life. Yeah. Got you this card. When you're ready, we all signed it. We just wanted you to know we're thinking about you. Thank you. Congratulations, Daryl. Let's get wasted. Have fun today, big guy. Oh yeah, party time, whoop whoop. It's possible that some people thought it was your birthday. Hooray, live it up, Big D. Days like this don't come often enough. Time to celebrate. You deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> birthday punches! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm so sorry. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24.